Welcome to the recap of the White Sox and their loss against the Houston Astros. I'm Jonathan Hood, and for my buddy David Kaplan, this is the recap as the Sox lose by the score of 5-1 to one on Friday night at very soggy, very wet, very rainy, guaranteed rate field. Before we start, shout out to the fans, the remaining fans that were there sitting through a two and a half hour rain delay on the south side waiting to see this crap. The same team that lost three out of four against the Kansas City Royals. Fans that want to just see this White Sox team, want to have a good Friday night, did not have a good Friday night, sitting through a rain delay and then seeing that effort uh, against the Houston Astros. So let's go back to the last game that the Sox played against Kansas City. The quote from Pedro Gafal. Oh, well, hold on. Before I talk about Pedro Gafal, we got to wear our Sox cap. This is how I wear my Sox cap. This is the way Grafal wears his socks cap. Bill way up here. So let me read, since I got the hat exactly the way Pedro has it up here. Okay, so let's read exactly what Grafal said. Grafal said, we played pretty good baseball in Cincinnati. We had some momentum coming in and we got outplayed. Okay, and then you get to guaranteed right field. And before the game, there was a team meeting. Oh boy, the dreaded team meeting that the White Sox had, a coming-to-Jesus moment for the White Sox of Pedro Gafal. Scott Merkin from WhiteSox.com asked the question, why are you having a meeting? And Grafal replied, maybe we're 13-26. and 26. Maybe that's the reason. Oh, being snappy. You're underachieving. The team's not very good or not healthy enough to be able to compete, and you want to snap at Scott Merkin. Maybe because we're 13 and 26, maybe that's the reason. Maybe the reason is, is that this team just isn't very good. When you look at this team on paper, again, you look at the roster and say, the starting pitching should be good enough. The offense should be good enough. But good enough clearly cannot cut the mustard at 35th and Vec. You lose against the Houston Astros here in game one of the series, might lose that series because Houston's a better ball club than the White Sox. Kansas City Royals are a better team than the White Sox. So, you know, you can have as many team meetings as you'd like. The point is that this team just can't get out of its own way. If it continues to go this way, Rick Hahn should have the temerity, the testicular fortitude, the balls to be able to let go of some of these players and bring some kids in from Charlotte. Because that's all, I mean, they have tried with this unit and it's not working. You have a team meeting, and you can barely get some runs across the board. Barely. Now, hats off to Michael Kopech, the starter for the White Sox, because even though he walked a small island, he was able to get out of a lot of innings because he was able to pitch around the situation. Pulled out of the ball game, put the bullpen in, and then all of a sudden the bat started to explode for the Houston Astros. Good to see Jose Abreu back, even though he's scuffling with the Houston Astros. But you'll never forget Jose Abreu. Just the solid White Sox. Now with the Houston Astros. And just don't get it twisted. The, the White Sox are not an Abreu away from being a good team. <laughs> Abreu played on some bad Sox teams as well. So all in all, again, same old, same old. Not enough offense. Uh, good enough starting pitching to be able to win. But just... It is. It's just a stagnant ball club. This is after, by the way, after a meeting. Maybe because the hat was too high on Grafal. Way too high. I'm Jonathan Hood, and that's our recap of the White Sox. I look ridiculous. The recap of the White Sox and their loss against the Houston Astros. Nice job, Pedro. <laughs> vote for Pedro? Uh, he's not getting my vote. Take that. <laughs>